Now let's consider how you can do image filtering with the two-dimensional Fast Fourier Transform, or FFT for short. The FFT is an abbreviation for Fast Fourier Transform. The FAST is a reference to an efficient implementation of the discrete Fourier Transform. And the discrete, trans discrete Fourier Transform is abbreviated by DFT. The main idea revolves around transferring the spatial domain image data, I'll call this f of xy, xy being the two spatial variables, transforming that into the frequency domain using our two-dimensional FFT. Commonly we use an uppercase version of the image letter to indicate frequency domain. And then the frequency domain uh, axes are indicated as u and v. So that, those are the analogies to the x and y coordinate system. We take this image spectrum and multiply it by a, a two-dimensional image filter. This is a function defined in the UV plane, and we simply take the product of the filter and the image spectrum. Let's call this G of U of V, and then pass that through the inverse two-dimensional FFT, and that produces the filtered image as the output, G of XY. And we call this the filtered spectrum. Well, this seems pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at some of the practical issues, though, that are necessary to make this work. To begin with, we need the image to look like a square image of n by n pixels. We also need n to be a power of 2. Doing so enables maximum computational efficiency for the fast Fourier transform. We also need an image that has real valued samples. All right, when we pass that through the FFT to get the image spectrum, we end up with complex values right here. We need to then take the product of a filter that has complex values as well. The complex valued spectrum passing through the inverse FFT also yields complex values right here. Now we'd like the output image to also have real values for purposes of display and also saving to a file. For that reason, we use the magnitude of the complex values to produce the finished result lowercase g. Now let's consider the coordinate system of our image. The coordinate system is normally taken as zero in the upper left corner. And we head this way in the x direction and head downward in the y direction. This happens to match the standard coordinate system for a computer monitor. The frequency domain has an analog we call this U for the spatial frequency direction, and V corresponds to the Y. So we call that the V axis like this. If you do nothing special, then you end up with your zero frequency value or DC value showing up in the upper left corner. That's not necessarily a problem, except we prefer to design the image filter with its origin in the center. Most FFT functions provide a shift operation that will place the DC location in the center of the image like this. Now DC shows up here in the center. Well, the only other thing we need to worry about is making sure that we get that center in exactly the right location. And I'll show you how to do that. We have an N by N image we need to have this upper left pixel corresponding to minus n over 2 for its coordinate. Here's 0. And because values increase as we head down, this would be positive n divided by 2 minus 1. In a similar fashion, we would have 
minus n over 2 on the left side, 0 in the center, and n over 2 minus 1 on the far right. As I said earlier, the filter is most easily defined by this style of coordinate system. And that's a little bit about image filtering in the frequency domain.